Smash Ultimate has been out for over five years. And while personally other plat fighters have came and swept me off my feet, there's something about just the sheer volume of things in this Switch title that keep bringing me back to the game. Most recently, and most poignantly, my love of the game has shifted into a mode you may or may not have heard of called Random Doubles, or as the cool kids call it, Randoms. The act of Randoms is pretty self-explanatory. It's just a mode where a group of four play 2v2s with both the characters, teams, and stage randomized. At surface level, you might look at this and say, so what? It's just playing random with extra steps which isn't necessarily wrong, but let me paint you a picture about the inherent beauty of this format. Smash Ultimate has 89 characters in its roster, ranging from a dog and a duck to literal gods. But when you sit down with four of your friends, you and your pals will typically just switch between just a small pool of characters. Now, don't get me wrong, you and your friend could be switching characters every now and then, but even then, eventually you would have played every possible combination. And from there, every time you play, it'll just be a repeat of those matches with the variable that sometimes you go woof instead of Mario. If you and your friends all played three characters consistently, it means that you and your friends would realistically have 81 possible matches. Which may sound like a lot, but if you guys constantly change characters, it means you would be out of unique matchups within a few hours. And it is also kind of depressing that there's more characters in the game than you and your friends have unique matchups. But that's where random comes in, because if you throw in that question mark by you and your friends all selecting random, your 81 matchups have skyrocketed all the way to 54,700,816. These two numbers are practically incomparable. Now, if you throw random teams into the mix, you can get up to three combinations if you base it off the pairing of players and not the colors because then it would be six between red and blue and green and blah. So that would make us have a total of 164,102,448 possible matches. Compare that to the previous scenario, yielding 81 matches. Big diff. Of course, numbers aren't everything especially because the variables I use to come up with the 81 number can easily inflate by just having more characters you like to play. So let's just ditch the numbers and talk about some more conceptual beauties of Rand Dubbin. Smash Ultimate's meta the past two years has just been the equivalent of slowly watching milk go sour, with the best of the best in this game feeling very well off for a reason that feels pace shattering, percent lead busting, or just slash creative mode. And when playing against characters who have tools who make you feel like you're playing an entirely different game, it can be frustrating. With random, all of that pain goes away, or like, becomes a 2 out of 89 chance. What started as a headache became a whoa look, you got this busted piece of crab nuggets. When you think about it, nothing removes the flaw of the ultimate and highlights its strengths quite like the question mark. Just think about it. Ultimate, despite its large roster, is typically boiled down to just its accessible top dogs at the highest level, and random would force the representation of characters significantly. And in ultimate, the game excels in having systems to make the game easier to play. For example, having an easier snap the ledge than other games, making the fear of messing up a recovery on an unfamiliar character far less punishing. By having a diverse cast, forgiving gameplay systems, and just fun gameplay, when looked at from a non-competitive distance, Ultimate is the ultimate Rand Dubs game. Having a team shuffle, rotating doubles lobbies, heck, even stage morph, it feels like Ultimate from the start was made for this sort of thing. It all just aligns like stars in the sky to create my favorite game to play with friends. Oh, that's my cue. Got a blast. Join the channel. Get your name at the end of my videos. Voice message system. At the tone, please record your message.
Hey man, just giving you a call back about that whole uh, Randov thing. I think the thing that's crazy for me is that Randov's was actually a solution when I started to really just get frustrated with video games as a whole because I was going down this sort of growth mindset thing where uh, I was looking at everything and like, oh, how can I get better? How can I get better at the game every day? You know, improve in every situation. And it still felt like I was plateauing or I, I think that's how it's said, right? Plateau? If I'm saying it wrong, you know what I mean, right? But I was kind of at that point where I felt like I was plateauing and I, I, I was still just so frustrated, right? Because, you know, when, when they teach you about growth mindset, when I read it in the book, they don't talk about that. And if they do, it's very, it didn't really capture it the way I was feeling it. And uh, just playing randoms with some friends, uh, you know, a friend of mine introduced me, you know, he's, he's made of cardboard. You've probably heard of him. But, uh, it was the solution for everything because the thing I've felt the most frustrated with the game and just gaming in general was when it felt like I was trying to do something, but for I didn't feel like I was in control of it, whether it be like a misinput or my opponent or the game itself just doing things that I didn't feel like I was in control of. And the act of just giving up control in randubs, you know, I don't get to pick my teammate. Sometimes I get stuck with the really annoying guy who sucks. Sometimes I get a character I don't like. Sometimes I get a stage that I think is really annoying, but uh, someone put it on the stage list anyway. That sort of element of just, you know, giving, just intentionally giving myself less control gave me a new perspective on gaming as a whole. And so I genuinely, I genuinely have randubs to thank for me enjoying video games in the year of our Lord. 2024 and uh i don't know if i'll still continue it whenever you know i don't know when you'll answer the machine you know listen to the voicemail etc cetera, etc cetera. but I, I i i hope i still enjoy it for that reason whenever you listen to this voicemail anyway uh peace and love i saw signing out uh call me back you owe me five bucks